Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try on my November BoxyCharm box. If you want to see all of the products that I got in action on my face and see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I gotta put hand lotion first so you guys don't see my extra dry hands. I will definitely be purchasing this Ahava Mineral Hand Lotion. It smells amazing and I got that from my Macy's Advent Box. It takes me back to my childhood. If you've heard about the Sampaguita flower, it just reminds me of of being in the Philippines and growing up so I love it and it's very hydrating I want to start off by saying that I haven't received my boxy charm December box but it's already December 23 or 22nd I decided to film a get ready with me using the items that I got in my boxy charm November box. So now I want to show it to you guys, apply it on the skin, and I've had some time as far as using the products that I got, and so I really have some thoughts about it. I'm getting ready today to go to Simbanga B. I don't know if you've heard about that. It's basically a devotional mass for nine days, and we've already done six, no, seven out of the nine. So I'm really happy that I'm able to do it with my family now that my kids are older. They're more patient with church and everything. Now let's start with this very expensive product right here. It's by Kypris and it's an antioxidant dew. Um, it comes in a dropper like that. And at first I was very, you know, hesitant in using it because of the word do in it and I have very oily skin so I thought it wouldn't work out for me. I ended up really really liking this. I've used this I want to say almost every other night ever since I received this. Really a very lightweight moisturizer. It costs $90 guys. You can buy this at Nordstrom um, and that's what I like about BoxyCharm. The products that they give you in the box are really very accessible products. It's not like products that are unknown and you're like really are they really ninety dollars so um great brands in their boxes and so highly highly recommend this subscription box if you're into makeup never heard of the brand kypris until i got this in my boxy charm box if i had the budget i would definitely go for it feels so good on the skin it's very lightweight i want to say and it's not greasy or oily at all there it just absorbs fully into the skin and you don't feel like it's just sitting on top of the skin. It goes deep into the skin right away. And I can feel that my face is kind of drying already. It's drying on the surface, but my face feels hydrated. Actually, I use this item um, at night. I don't use it under makeup, but I have used it under makeup before and it works great. So highly recommend this. Glad I got this in my BoxyCharm box. Other item that I got in my box is actually these brushes. Um, these are synthetic brushes. They're super soft, but I'm not too crazy about the shape. I don't like the handles. I don't like the shape of the brush. This could be great as a contour brush, but um, they're saying that one is a foundation brush which is this one and the other one is a powder brush which is this one the problem is as a powder brush it's so dense i feel like it's not gonna disperse the powder nicely around the face let's just go for it just so i can show you what i mean um but i've used this many times and i'm not too too crazy about it <clears throat> So I'll go ahead and use this um, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. It's not my favorite. You can tell it's dragging around my face. Like it's pulling the skin on my face as I use it. Just a very odd shape and I feel like this oval shape that it has would leave streaks around the face. It's not gonna be like a flawless distribution of product. By the time you're watching this video, it may be Christmas, but it might be the following week, which is New Year. So I hope everyone's had a great um, holiday so far. I just 
putting a little bit more in the center of my face because that's where all of the problem areas are. How do you guys like my new background? It's gonna be changing. It's still under construction, I would say. Let's go ahead and apply concealer. having great skin lately and it's thanks to my Haruna face mask 7 day planner. Speaking of mask, I'll show a picture or two of my pictures from Instagram. So I got the Google Evening and Morning Eye Mask in my BoxyCharm box and I've used them already. But I enjoyed using them and I'm glad I got them in my FabFitFun box last month. So typically, what I would do next is powder my face. I guess this is a powder brush according to BoxyCharm. Uh. It's just too dense. It, this is not a powder brush. It, I feel like it's gonna move the foundation around. It's just moving everything that's on your face and just dragging it all over the place. I'm tapping it. So it looks like it's pushing the product into the face more. It's looking really like mattified. It's looking pretty even. Patting it into my skin, it's kind of tough and rough. So I'm not a fan, it's not my favorite. I wanna use the other two items that I got in my BoxyCharm box on my eyes. So let me just do the rest of my face real quick. and dogs here guys but i love it i really miss the rain i wanted the cold weather to begin i was done with the warm and hot weather some powder under my eyes and we can get started with the eyes one of the best things that i got was a becca highlighter the becca shimmering skin perfector and it's in the color chocolate gold it's in the wrong color and so when you put it on you can see it's kind of dark and so it doesn't work as a highlighter but today we are going to use it as a eyeshadow. So, and it's a very subtle eyeshadow. I've done it before, so it's not bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with putting it on the lid. It's a nice, like, golden eyeshadow. Next item that I got was a makeup palette by Dominique Cosmetics and this is the Celestial Thunder palette and this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this before but I'm going to swatch it for you. So this is Eternal Light. This is Fireball. Oop, that was pretty bad. Black Matter, Zero Gravity, which is one of my favorite colors. It's very unique. It's like a purple gray shade. And um, this Lucid Cream. I so want to try this once I get maybe into the summer months. Storm Dust, like a brownie orange color and then lunar eclipse 
This is the bright orange one. And last one is the Mystic Ice. Right there, the blue. This one is such a nice highlighty shade, but glitter falls all over your face by the end of the day. So you definitely need to use a glitter glue for it, but it's so shiny and metallic. All the mattes are great. They're like a drier formula, but they're very pigmented, so that's nice. So for my crease, I think I'm gonna use this one first, the Lunar Eclipse right here. This one. Ah, whoa! Oh my gosh. I forgot how pigmented it is. <laughs> Let me put some here. Using a smaller brush, we'll go in and do the storm dust right here. And I just want to deepen the crease a bit more. Really tap that brush, guys. I like using natural hair bristles for blending because it kind of absorbs the color a little bit. And this is Morphe 411. I love it for diffusing eyeshadow, especially when you make a mistake like like I did and put too much. The color Eternal Light right here would be great for inner corner. We'll do the Storm Dust again, this color right here, and put it under my eyes and I think that's it. ahead and use the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. Let me put on mascara and lipstick and I'll be right back. This is the final look. I've been meaning to unbox my BoxyCharm box properly the right way, which is applying it first hand, first impression on my face. But I haven't been able to do one and so I'm so excited that I got this opportunity to actually just put all of the products into action. I hope you guys enjoyed doing this Get Ready With Me. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. There's always something to learn here on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you back next week on my corner soon. Bye. You didn't come here for hair tutorials.